So in this case, we want to look at the, the instance where we try to find the inverse of a matrix, but we discover that the inverse doesn't exist. So the key is to recall that if, um, if a matrix is going to have an inverse, the first thing we know is that it must be a square matrix. Inverse matrices are only defined for square matrices. So here I see I have a three by three square matrix. So if I were going to look for the inverse of this matrix, I would augment the matrix A with the three by three identity matrix. And then I would put that into reduced row echelon form and interpret the result. We're gonna go ahead to expedite things and do this in GeoGebra. So opening GeoGebra, I am not going to need the graphics view, but I am going to need the spreadsheet view in order to do, uh, in order to look for the matrix that I need, or in order to create the matrix that I need. So I'm gonna take the matrix A, which is one, one, five, one, two, seven, and what's the last guy here? Two negative, I was making sure I had the right slide. Two, it was two, negative one, and four. And if it has a if it has an inverse, I need to be able to augment this with the identity matrix. So one zero 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 one zero and zero zero one. Except you have to type in the right spots. So we take the matrix A, we augment it with the identity matrix for three by three matrices. And then we need to create the matrix from this. So we left click and hold and highlight all of the cells. We right click and go to create. In the create menu, we go to matrix. Usually rename this so it's easier to type. Once we get the matrix in the algebra window, we don't need the spreadsheet view anymore. And we can go ahead and turn on our computer algebra system win, uh, view. And then we want to put the matrix M into reduced row echelon form. To rem remember, the idea is we augment the matrix we're interested in with the identity matrix. We put it into reduced row echelon form, and we need to get the identity matrix here. And if the identity matrix shows up in, the, in this position, then the matrix over here, the three by three matrix here, is the inverse matrix. So we're gonna go reduced row echelon form of M and hit enter. And in this case, right away, what we see is that the inverse doesn't exist because the first three rows, three columns did not reduce into the identity matrix. This should be one, zero, 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 one, zero, and zero, zero, one. And because it's not, because this matrix here isn't the identity matrix, this matrix here is not the inverse. And in fact, the matrix that we started with, one, one, five, one, two, seven, two, negative one, four, does not have a matrix inverse. It doesn't exist.